this is Yvonne from Spaniels R Us and Ted and Yvonne Prescott. I've got our ambassador here, Chewy, and as you can tell, he's looking pretty, he's looking um, pretty wooly. It's late fall, October, and he's been all summer with a summer cut and growing it out. So now it's time to, to give him a cocker cut and I'm gonna demonstrate that here today. So I've already combed him out, brushed him out pretty good, um, and we'll just go to clipping. I like to start with their head while the clippers are cool. And these are Andis clippers. They're actually a livestock clipper. We use these for our beef, our show cattle, um, as well as our horses and our dogs. Um, they're really good quality. We've had these for about 13 years. Um, still going strong. I go against the grain of hair on their head. It just gives them a, a much shorter cut on their head. <laughs> Mikey knows we're filming. Very carefully get right in there where he grows that really long hair next to his eye. I want to make sure and not get his eye at all but I do want to get that long hair cut off right there. <laughs> and he has eyes, it's amazing. Chewy's super good to work with. He never gives me any problems. Sometimes he might sit down, try to jump off the table. My table is uh, a gift that my kids got me last year for Christmas. It's been wonderful and a lifesaver. I usually have it set up outside so I don't have a mess all over the house but it is wet and cold outside today. So we are doing this in the kitchen. Okay, I come down about a third of the way on their ear. And then I come on the inside. You want to get all of that hair away from very carefully so you don't cut them away from the opening of their ear so that it's not blocking the airflow into their ear. I do try to take off away from, on their ear itself, away from that ear opening. And then if you tip their ear up, and very carefully come right here and clean up right all the way around their ear. All of my other dogs are enjoying playing in all of 
shoes, hair that is falling off the table. So I am going to have hair scattered all over my house. I can already tell. I like to check the temperature on my clippers, make sure it's not getting too hot. And then you want to be really careful right here under their neck too, around their face, around their lips, because there's so many folds and, and wrinkles and stuff. You definitely don't want to cut them. I had my old girl, the local pet co. I knew the lady that was managing the place and she called and asked me if she could use my Cocker Spaniel to, to train her new groomers how to do a Cocker cut. And so I, the last time she asked me to be out, I took her in and she come back with some pretty good cuts on her neck. They never said a word to me about it, that it had happened, but she had some pretty good cuts on her neck. And ever since then, she's not been so good to clip. She was always so good before. And now she wants to hide from me whenever I get the clippers out. back and scissor cut around the bottom of his ear to just shorten it up a little bit because I could take about that much off the length and I know that may not be the way you're supposed to do it for show but we live on a very rural and there's lots of stuff outside that they drag in my husband Dude. says they bring every weed and stick in the house with them. Every time they go outside, they pack something in, especially this time of year. So just trying to get some of the excess <laughs> hair that has come off with the clippers and is just kind of sticking off of him here. Dude, stop eating the hair, okay? starting to look like a Cocker Spaniel again, instead of a sheepdog. Okay, so here I'm gonna turn him this other way. You might have to, well, that might be a good perspective. I don't know, sit, good boy. Well, I'm gonna do, uh, and I am not left-handed, and my dogs know it.
getting the hair away from his ear canal there. Oh, okay. Okay. And I can feel that the flipper's starting to get a little bit hot, so that's why I always like to start with their head. And then I also keep an extra blade um, so I can swap out when this one gets hot. I can swap it out for a cool one. So now we can see his ear canal really good. So here, as you can see, I'm going with the grain of the hair, so it's not going to be quite as short as what it is on his head. And I'm going to bring it to kind of a point here. And you kind of feel their breastbone right here. I don't know, I don't like to always go right to their breastbone. point of their shoulder, right there, such a handsome beastie when he's got his hair cut. hair everywhere so now I can't tell where I'm at. <laughs> and then I just kind of run it down this side, tapering it. I don't, I don't stay close. I let it come off at the same angle. So I'm leaving long hair all the way around here.
He's going to look about 10 pounds lighter. I'm going to get all this hair off of him. As you can see, his, his other hair is not too long. Because for a summer cat, I shave them all the way down. So they're short all over. Stay. You stay. Huh? So he looks like a giant rat when you do it. My kids don't like it when I give him a summer cut, but I think he looks super good in a summer cut. Super handsome. <coughs> looks like a muscle car when he gets a summer haircut. <laughs> Chewy, you're right on the edge of that table. He's always right on the edge of the table. Okay, let's see here where we at. Okay, so I'm going to brush him out here. Get out of there. <laughs> Don't fall off the table there. Don't fall off the table, Chewy. didn't need just a little bit bigger table. Okay, so getting pretty close. I think I need to take a little bit more off around his chest and then take and try to look downy. I've got this side lower than this side, so I need to come back over and do a little bit more on this side to get him evened up. And then I always take back here around their bum 
and I will shave around his bum just for cleanliness sake. And then I always like to take off a little bit underneath too. So when he pees, he's not peeing all over himself. So here, Chewbacca. Yes, I know. You probably go back over with that. Huh? You probably put that like over the top. There we go. Stay. I want to leave his skirt and I just want to get some underneath. To help with cleanliness. But I want to leave his skirt in place for the winter. Help keep him warm. just a little bit more. Doing the same thing that I did on the back. Keeping the clippers at the same angle. So it just kind of gives it that graduated effect. One more time. Can also use a rake. And then I also take and clip around their feet just to shorten them up a little bit. Can you always have a scissors though? Yeah, I usually do that with a pair of scissors. Usually scissor cut them around their feet. And I found a, a set of scissors on Amazon that I am going to order to try. There's a curved pair for doing around their feet. And I'm curious how those will work. If they'll help make it a little easier to get around their feet. And 
gonna stop the camera for a minute and go get my scissors so that we can clip his ears. Because his ears are super long and they gather up everything. So we're gonna shut the camera off and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I've got, I've gone down to where I feel the skin on his ear and, and then I put my fingers between that skin and my scissors and then I just cut it and then I will come back <laughs> don't turn your head chewy okay And I will shape that. And so it's that kind of bell shape. And quite often they end up still being a little bit long because I'd much rather leave them a little long and take the chance on cutting their ear. But now you can see quite a difference between the one side and the other side. So we'll do that other ear and he is basically gonna be done. I'm not gonna worry about his paws today um, because they're really not that long. I could cut a little bit off of them, but they're not too bad. So we'll save those for another day and he's getting tired. That's the other thing is sometimes you have to break up a, a clipping into um, several sessions and it doesn't take long. You know, give them a five minute break, let them go outside, go potty, and then bring them right back in before they roll or do something silly like that. And then you can start up again. But here, now he looks more like that ambassador that you see on our cover page. Chewbacca. Thanks, guys. If you like this video, like it, subscribe. You can also find us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave comments below. Thanks.